Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog. You know, I was watching, uh, you know, Facebook here and there on Christmas Day because really our family celebrates the day after. We want, you know, we always want us to party with our family the day of and, and, and party with the whole family the day after, right? So it's like a continuation of a great party. But I was looking on it, Air, Wow Airlines had a $99 flight from Baltimore to Iceland. And I know people were all excited. And then I remember this guy saying, man, I just ain't got no money for a hotel and all, blah, 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 and all this other stuff. And I want to go, wait a minute. You're talking yourself out of a hundred dollar flight that usually would probably be like a thousand bucks or something. Or 500 if you're coming out of New York, you know, whatever. Uh, 500 to a thousand dollars. And it's ninety nine dollars. And you're going to start telling me how you don't have um, money for the hotel. You don't have money for this. And that. I mean, even if you had a freaking flight to Iceland for $99. You'd find the money if you wanted it. You'd find the money. A lot of people are talking themselves out of these opportunities and these places they want to go like they're going to live twice or something. Like they're going to live so long that one day they'll have this money. And you know what? When I see people travel in their 60s and 70s, I go, man, that's great of them. But I bet they wish they were 20 or 30 again and traveled because their knees would be better, their elbows, their backs, the walking, the experiences of no family, no money, no mortgage, no none of this, all this other stuff that holds you back as you get older. Stop talking yourself out of life. You know, and this is a big reason why I just started when I went on, when I planned out my calendar for my year, I went and bought one way tickets to a bunch of cities. And everybody's like, why would you do that? That's stupid, Erica. Because that forced me to find the opportunity, the money to, for the hotel, the money for everything else I needed. I needed to plan it and put it in action because I've already got, I'm already going. Now I just need to get come back, right? So, so you have to start putting some action out there because you don't live twice. I know young ladies who are like, well, when I get a husband, I'm going to travel here, or there, and all these other places. Boo boo, what if you don't get a husband? That's common. Some people aren't married. Why well, wake up one day and be 40 and be like, you know, what? I'm going to travel now because I ain't got no kids. And I ain't got no husband. Travel while you're younger, dude. Don't don't sit here and plan this future for somebody. We had a friend who used to say, I'm going to decorate my house when I my wife's going to decorate my house. And his house stayed looking like that for five years. Why? You decorated for you. <laughs> what if you never got a wife? You, you know, and, and, and people don't think like that, but. I just think that's important. You know, you have to live and you can't save up all this energy for somebody that might not come along. You really just have to put your feet in front of other and, and decide like, hey, I'm not going to talk myself out of living. Just not. So anyway, this is Erica, Classic On Blog. I hope you guys uh, got something out of this video. You guys have a great day.